So we are going into Black Sail's final season. Uh, your character had a big transformation at the end of last year. Is it kind of crazy how far he's come from the beginning of this show? Yeah, I, I feel like I've it's, I feel like I played a different character every season in Black Sails, and then I'd say in season four I feel like I play four different characters. Like he, the evolution continues and, and gets even more dramatic as it goes on. Obviously, the big one really happened, kind of being Don Long John Silver and yep. kind of taking this this mantle over in the the revolution that's about to happen. So when we he's evolved already a little bit by the time we find him in season four, but the changes he goes through in the first few, first few episodes are really dramatic. How uh, eager or not eager is he to take on this mantle at this point? It's a little bit of both. He's now very invested in this world. You know, where he always used to say he didn't believe in Flint and, and yeah. was not going to... He's now part of it. He, it's really the two of them ready to take this war to the world. And I think as well with Marty, there, Marty's really... Uh, integral and also giving him the confidence to take that up and making I think everyone around him his relationships with Billy Marty Flint all the walrus crew and I think as a guy who never wanted to be a part of anything before it was not a joiner because of these relationships he's really starting to feel a part of this war part of this group of brothers and I think is feeling the potential that he could take up that mantle and uh, yeah be the Long John Silver who starts this revolution uh, the uh, relationship between Flint and Silver is very complicated, lots of back and forth. But yeah, they came to a very interesting sort of, uh, I don't know if agreement's the right word, but at least uh, more peace than they ever had, you know, going forward. You said that you know, they are allies right now, but is there always like, you know, he, he said that, I don't know if it was a threat or not, but he said, hey, maybe I can be there to succeed you. So is there a strange dynamic still between them? I, I think that is, but I think they're, in this world, they're about as close as two friends can be. And, uh, and I think that that was the acknowledgement in that scene. It, I think it was less a threat, but the acknowledgement that they're really close. Yeah. And also when he finds out about Flint's backstory, he knows how self-destructive Flint is, but also how destructive as a force he is to those around him. And But he's also aware of the power that Silver has now. He's managed to very quickly rise up to a, a very a high position of power in this world. And so, I, I think it's less a threat, but more just acknowledging where they're both sitting at the moment. Right. And being such good friends, as honest as they are with each other at that moment, I think it's uh, it's kind of a surprise to both of them they ended up there, I think. And we might also look at it as sort of him stating the inevitable. Uh, we happen to know more than maybe they know because we know Treasure Island. What's it like doing this, knowing this is the final season and heading towards certain things that we expect are going to happen? Do you kind of play with that uh, when it might and how it might happen? It's so crazy the twists and turns of season four i the every time we got a new script it was just riveting and trying to talk to the guys and work out where we were going to go it's a very satisfying conclusion in a lot of ways um and it, we definitely throw a line to treasure island like uh so that you get a sense of how we can end up in that book but it's it doesn't go exactly the way you might think it will